it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have kind of a budget friendly haul for you guys. I got some stuff from Dollar Tree. I was going to just share that with you. And then I picked up a few more things from Gordman's from their clearance section. And then a couple other things I want to share with you guys that are all budget friendly. So if you want to see what I picked up from the Dollar Tree and some other places on a budget, then stay tuned. So I'm going to start with the Dollar Tree stuff first because I know personally I get really excited to see other people's Dollar Tree hauls. It's not a huge one, but I think everything in here is either new or just something I've always wanted to pick up and I never did. So I thought I would share that with you guys today. So that is what I have in the first bag. And the first thing I picked up, and I actually got this idea from the Good and the Beautiful curriculum, which we're going to be doing with our oldest uh, for next school year. And we're going to be starting it um, for science for my youngest. I also am looking at maybe their history for fourth grade. So I love what I've seen from their company so far. And in their curriculum, they suggest having kids write out thank you notes obviously for the writing practice, but also I just love the idea of, even if it's not for a gift, especially for a gift, but even if it's just at any time, you know, thank you for being a great grandmother or a great teacher or a great friend, just a good habit to get kids into. So I let each of my girls pick out their own thank you notes from the Dollar Tree. My youngest daughter picked out the little kitty cat that's sleeping here, and my oldest daughter picked out the donuts. So there are six thank you notes, or well, they're not thank you notes, they're blank. So they could be thank you notes, it could be whatever. Um, but there's six blank uh, note cards on in each of these packs. So I picked those up for the girls. For me, I really love stickers and washi tape and things to decorate greeting cards with. I use them to decorate my planner each month and things like that. And so I picked up this Disney Tsum Tsum washi tape. This stuff, like a year ago, cost a fortune at the craft stores. And here it is at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And it's actually the Disney brand. Um, Tsum Tsums. Um, so I thought that was really neat and I'm going to keep that to use on greeting cards and then to decorate my calendar with. Another thing I picked up, and this is actually the Bic brand uh, mechanical pencil. I got some of the Dollar Tree mechanical pencils once and they were awful. But this is actually the Bic brand, so I'm hoping that it's just as good as it would be from anywhere. And I like how they've got like this holographic, if you can kind of see, kind of a holographic uh, silver pattern on the inside and I never have enough pencils. The girls need pencils. People are always stealing pencils from my desk. So I bought these to keep at my desk. So hopefully that is where they will stay and hopefully these are good quality. Also kind of in the school supplies stationery section, I found this cute little ice cream cone notebook with the cherry sticky notes. I about like died when I saw these because I am obsessed with cute little paper and notebooks and pens. So I thought it was really cute. I'm just not sure if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to put it in our homeschool reward store because I noticed that my oldest daughter really wanted this too. So I will probably end up putting it in the homeschool reward store, but I really, really want it. I mean, who would not want a post-it note cherry? I mean, how cute is that? So I got that. And then from the book section, I picked up these, which I had never seen before. This is the difficult dot to dot picture puzzles. We have things similar. We have the extreme dot to dot ones from Mindware. My oldest daughter went through a lot of those. So there weren't a whole lot left to do um, for my youngest, but I really think this is great for pretty much any time. It's good for focusing and quiet time. It's good for math skills and number sequence, obviously. And these are like, they're not messing around with these dots. I mean, look at all of these dots. So I thought that was really neat. And to find it at the Dollar Tree was exciting. And in the back, it shows you um, the answers. So you know, at least if you have to look, you know, it shows you what you're, what they're going to be making on each page. So a knight and an octopus and giraffes and things like that. So I picked that up for mostly my youngest daughter. And my oldest daughter thought this was really neat. It is a complex picture maze workbook. So you have to find your way through the maze to complete the picture. But then once you have found the correct path through the maze, it actually creates a picture. And again, it's got answers in the back. So it kind of shows you if you need help, um, what your, what your picture is supposed to look like. So there's a squirrel and a Trojan horse and tigers and a fairy and ostrich. So all different kinds of pictures that you can find within these maze pages. And I thought that was really unique. I've never seen anything like that before, especially at the Dollar Tree. So I picked that up. And the last two things from the Dollar Tree, if you guys saw my road trip activities for kids video I did before we went to Disney this year, I had picked up some travel like car games for the girls and they were a big hit. They really loved them, especially my oldest daughter really loved the license plate game, which I realized you can do with just a piece of paper, but 
Um, it makes it a lot more fun because they had a map and you can color in each state as you find the license plate along the road and um, you know driving on the interstate. And she and I played that for quite a while and kind of had a competition going. My youngest daughter really liked the interstate bingo that we did. So this is similar. Both of these came from the Dollar Tree. They're a little bit different than what I got. The, they're a little bit bigger. And then um, I don't know if ours came with dry erase markers, but this one comes with two dry erase markers that actually has an eraser on the end. And this one was neat because it's roadside bingo. So there's two different ones, it looks like. Yeah, two dry erase boards and two markers. So on this side, you've got certain road signs, and on this side, you have other road signs, so you have to find those to get your bingo. And then this one is vehicle bingo. So again, you get two markers and two boards, so you're looking for airplane, a speedboat, a dump truck, a sailboat, a bicycle. So there's two different cards on each side. So. I thought these were really, really fun that when we did them, and I like that they have a new form, a new format, so it'll be kind of like a new game when we go next year to, to save these. So I'm already buying for our trip to Disney next year, and we just got back. That's how pathetic I am. But anyway, that is everything I got at the Dollar Tree, and then we went to Gordman's. We didn't go to Gordman's to look at clothes because I don't really like their clothes that often. I don't like to dig through things, which is kind of what you have to do at places like Gordman's and Marshall's and TJ Maxx. You kind of have to dig through racks and I, I just, I'm not a digger, but my oldest daughter was looking and I, I just happened to mosey over by the clearance section and I did find a couple cute things. One thing I was looking for in particular was something kind of warm and oversized, but lightweight if possible to wear um, and in the summertime, like I'll wear shorts around the house and you know, after my shower at night, I'll put my like sleeping shorts on, but sometimes it gets a little cool or in the morning, sometimes it's still a little cool in the house and I wanted something fuzzy to put on, you know, just to wear around the house. So I actually found this, and a lot of these things were from the clearance section. This was on clearance for $9.98. I'm not in love with the color. I mean, it's okay, but it's like this really, really super soft kind of a marbled, it's not really red. It's like a coral salmon almost color. It's a hoodie, but it actually looks pretty cute on, and it may end up being something I wear out in the fall and winter every now and again when I just want to feel really comfy. Um, but I thought it was really cute. It is really super duper soft, and because it's obviously a cold weather item, it was in the clearance section. So I picked that up so I can wear it around the house and I can wear it out if I want to. Also kind of in the fall and winter theme, I found these really fuzzy, kind of the same material as that. It's this really super soft material, just long kind of sweatpants sort of, um, and they were only $6.50. So I thought that was really good to have just an extra pair of cozy pants to wear around the house. They have a drawstring, and I am excited to have those to wear in the fall and winter, even though I'm not looking forward to winter, but I don't, I like having fuzzy things to wear. So that came from the clearance section, and then this is actually cheaper than some of the clearance stuff, and it was not even on clearance. It was $6 for this shirt. It needs to be ironed, but I thought it was a really cute basic white t-shirt. Obviously, I'm gonna have to wear a tank top under it because it is like tissue paper thin, um, but it's got these straps right here across the neck. So it just gives it a little bit of interest and makes it you know, more fun than just a plain white t-shirt. But $6 for this, and I thought it was really cute, and you can actually dress it up or dress it down. It's got this little pocket on the, on the front there, so it would look really cute with a pretty set of earrings and some cute pants or just with shorts or jeans. So I like that. And then also just a basic that I live in are these Sophie like cheer shorts. I am by no means a cheerleader and never have been. Um, but I do like to exercise in these and these are just like the classic elastic waistband athletic shorts. I work out almost every day and I wear these pretty much every time I work out because they are not sticky and they don't make me sweat and they're comfortable and they're just really versatile. So I got two pairs of those and they were only $8 a piece, but I think they were on sale because the receipt said, I think $6 a piece. So they have things like this at Kohl's too, but since I was there and that's a really good price, I went ahead and got these there because they did have pink and I like pink. So I got those, so I was really happy with everything I found at Gordman's because like I said, usually I don't ever find clothes at Gordman's, so that was kind of exciting. I mentioned in my favorite summer movies video, which I don't know if it's gone up or not yet, um, that I was watching one of my favorite summer movies on my DVR that I had recorded from the previous summer. And I got to the almost the end, it was like the last three minutes, and then the, the DVR cut it off and it didn't record the last three minutes. And I went to go watch it on Netflix because this movie used to be on Netflix and now it's not. And I was like, I've got to see the last three minutes. I mean, I know what happens, but I still wanted to see the last three minutes. And I was like, 
if I love this movie that much, why do I not have it at home like in my collection? So I found the DVD of Safe Haven, which if you haven't seen that uh, summer favorite movie video, um, this is a spoiler. This is one of my favorite movies to watch, especially in the summer. It's kind of got a 4th of July scene in it, so it's very summery and kind of like a, a beach town kind of a, um, you know, setting. I really love this movie. It's a classic ch chick romance movie, but it's a good movie. My husband likes it too. Um, but for $5 at Target, and I used my Target red card, so I think I paid like, I don't know, with tax, it was like five something. So I was really excited because for $5 now, I have this movie in my collection and I can watch it whenever I want and actually see the whole thing and not miss the last three minutes. The last thing I got, and if you guys know anything about the e.l.f. brand, it's, it stands for eyes, lips, face. They sell it at Walmart. I mean, pretty much everywhere sells it now. Even Ulta sells it now. Um, but I really like to get the things when I can from their website because they obviously, at the website, they carry the full range of their products. And I had run out of my under eye setting powder. I was using the e.l.f. Um, HD under eye setting powder and I ran out of it right before vacation and I couldn't find it in the stores. And so I ended up having to order it from the e.l.f. website. But it was nice because at that time they had 50% off everything, which their stuff is already really, really cheap. A lot of their stuff is like $1, $3, $6, so really, really cheap. And it was 50% off. And then I had a free shipping coupon. So. I actually got two of these, but I think I paid $1.50 a piece with the sale. And it is the e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder. I use this to set my concealer under my eyes. I, I like to do this instead of just a regular face powder because I find that it is a little bit light reflective, so it gives a little bit of bounce back and brightness under your eyes. And I don't find that it settles into my fine lines as much as a powder would or does. So I really love this stuff. I thought that I... Um, would be okay using something else that I had similar and it was not as good. This was the best one I've found so far and it is the sheer color so it's just white um, but it disappears like once you blend it in you don't have white underneath your eyes but that is what I get. I love it and for $1.50 this little thing's gonna last me forever and since I got two of them I don't need to buy any of this for quite a while. And the last thing I got and this is a new purchase for me is the e.l.f. solid sponge cleanser. I used to use um, a beauty blender which is like a makeup sponge and they're twenty dollars a piece or at least they were last time I bought one for a makeup sponge and then whenever they would get dirty it was really hard to clean unless you bought at least in my opinion unless you bought the beauty blender cleanser which was again like fourteen twenty dollars something like that some kind of crazy amount just for the cleanser to wash the overpriced makeup uh, makeup sponge so I have now for a couple years been using the Real Techniques uh, makeup sponge. I love it. I swear by it. I use it every single day. I've given them to my mom. I'm going to be giving some to my daughter, my oldest daughter, uh, when she starts wearing like foundation because I feel like it does just as good of a job as the Beauty Blender and it is a fraction of the price. But it is still a little bit difficult to clean just like the Beauty Blender was and I didn't want to have to go out and buy an expensive cleanser. So. I did not know that e.l.f. actually makes their own solid sponge cleanser, which is basically just similar to the Beauty Blender version. Um, it's just a little like solid disc that's got this cleanser inside it. And so you get your makeup sponge wet and you kind of rub it over the cleanser, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, rinse it. You know, you may have to do that a few times depending on how long it's been since you washed your makeup sponge, but it worked really, really well. And I'm thinking this was like a it was, either, it was either $3 or $1. I think it was $3 because with the sale, I guess that made it $1.50 since it was 50% off. So even if you don't use the Beauty Blender sponge or the Real Technique sponge, but if you use any kind of makeup sponge and you want to keep reusing it longer, I would definitely recommend trying this. I've used Ivory Soap in the past because somebody said that did a really good job cleaning their Beauty Blender. I personally didn't find that it did a very good job and it certainly didn't do as good of a job as this. So definitely something to look into if you are wanting to clean any makeup sponges that you have. So that is everything in my budget haul that I had to share with you guys today. If you guys like this video and you'd like to see more like it, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you want to see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those. And I will see you guys in the next video.